off with a castle lead. Maybe later you'll buy some meat in the field with the cows and you and me. Back working on the trailer today. So I got these rear pieces right here welded in place. So now these long supports right here are completely welded in place. So I still have that big bar on there just to make sure that they were level and that they didn't get bumped or anything while I was trying to weld it. So everything still looks pretty square on that. So the next thing I'm working on is cutting these cross bars right here. So these right here are just going to be extra support for the welder because we're going to uh, bolt the welder in place right there on top of the axle. Unfortunately, those two right there are the only ones I'm going to get done today because that replacement chop saw blade I put on here apparently had a fault in it and so it just blew apart. So that's the one of the main reasons why safety glasses are important for working on stuff like this because uh, it blew up in my face as I was trying to use it. So. Words, words are hard. Fortunately, since I was wearing proper safety protection, there's no no injury or anything. I just kind of shot shrapnel everywhere. So, I'm uh, gonna have to replace that and come back tomorrow and try and finish this up. Once I get those cut and welded in place, I'm gonna sand everything down. Probably use a, a wire grinder and then hit everything with a coat of paint just to prevent more rusting and then we're gonna put some boards across the top of it so hopefully we'll have this thing finished up in the next couple of days and we can get it out here with the welder on it and start working on the fences and the field.